Hello, my name is Cashman, and welcome back to another video, and today we are going to go over a pretty short list of the things that you want to bring to fight the Ender Dragon and go to the End Cities, because, uh, you don't want to die. <laughs> so, first of all, we have some of the potions, and one of the most important ones is the Potion of Slow Falling. So, use the Phantom Membrane, make the potions first, but these drop from Phantoms, which uh, they look like this. So, so those annoying little creatures, you know, swoop at you at night, you need them. So put in your phantom membrane, and then eventually you will get the slow fall potion, which you also want to put the redstone in to make it four minutes long. So you want to have about three in your inventory, and then you want to have six in your ender chest, so that you will have about enough and that should be good and then another potion which will be good is the regeneration potion which you use the gas tier which drops from ghasts which are in the nether so you do the thing and you can do glowstone dust instead of redstone dust if you want regeneration too which would be good for emergency situations and that's the same as brewing these you just take three bottles put them in there Put in the nether wart, then you put in your gas tier, and you get regeneration, and finally you put in either your redstone or your glowstone dust so that you can either make it longer or better. Now the reason why I chose these two potions as the ones that you want is one, because regeneration, you get your health back faster, and two, slow falling is because the ender dragon will throw you up in the air with one of his attacks when he swoops at you. And in the end cities, it'll be good for if you get uh, hit too high by the shulkers so that you fall down slowly without having to worry about dying. Now the next thing that you want to have is these things. So the bow and the crossbow are pretty interchangeable. I would recommend the bow because it's just pretty much better. You need either a lot of arrows or the infinity enchantment so that you can get as many arrows, just, you know, infinite arrows. And then power is good because more damage, obviously. For the crossbow, you want quick charge so you can charge it up faster and multi-shot so you can hit them multiple times. Now for the pickaxe, you want a pickaxe with silk touch because you want to bring an ender chest. So you craft an ender chest with eight obsidian and one eye of ender. So you put it in like so and then boom. You have an ender chest right there. It's wonderful. So that's why you want silk touch so that you can pick your ender chest back up and use it as much as you want. And then for your sword, uh, all I would recommend is sharpness and then everything else is good as well. Now some little throwables to bring are snowballs to shoot at the end towers and then ender pearls just in case something bad happens, which you don't want. Now for some other items to bring, I would say a water bucket in case uh, the slow falling runs out or something like that. You want to bring a lot of blocks. Dirt is the easiest one to get, so that's why I have it in there. Bottles, because you want to pick up the dragon's breath and they do stack so you don't have to worry about inventory space. Then a lot of food, just in case. As many golden apples as you can get and torches. And the torches we will come back to later as to why we want those. Now for your ender chest, you want more slow falling and more food. And then for end cities, you want to bring chests and a crafting table. And I will also talk about those in a little bit. So this is my recommended inventory layout. So you want to have your sword and bow right next to each other so you can easily go between them. You want to have a couple potions of slow falling and the moment you drink them you want to put the glass bottle out of your hot bar. Have a stack of blocks so that you can stack up to any closed end crystals. Have the ender pearls in case there are any accidents. Have glass bottles so you can grab the dragon's breath super fast. Have your golden apples and whatever food of your choice. Then have the arrows up there, more potions, your water in case the slow falling begins to run out, snowballs, and then these two right there, and your crossbow in case you want to use that. And then of course the torches, which we will talk about later. And of course, diamond stuff. So jump in, begin our fight. So sometimes you will spawn in a cage like this, which is inside the island, 
Sometimes you will spawn on a platform that is outside over the void, and that is another reason why you want to bring blocks. So if you end up in something like this, you just want to grab your pickaxe and then start mining out. Once you get out, you'll be greeted by this giant island which is floating over the void. So as you can see, once you run a little closer, there are end crystals on these giant obsidian pillars, and what you want to do is shoot them down. So shooting it with an arrow will explode it, and the reason you want to do these is because it heals the ender dragon. So I'm going to grab Potion of Slow Falling straight away and start shooting at these. There's one, there's another, and as you can see, this is the Dragon Breath attack. So if you right click with a bottle, you can grab a bottle of Dragon's Breath, which you can keep grabbing multiple from just one little Dragon Breath thingy. And if you hit it while the dragon is trying to heal from it, then it will cause damage to the dragon. So you want to try and hit the ones that it is trying to heal from. All right, so as you can see, the last ones that we have are in cages so this is what the main reason for the blocks so what you can do is you can just block up to them and then punch them load and as you can see that was almost our final tower we just have the one over here left if you're having trouble shooting them you can either block up to the one that it's on or you can block over to a shorter tower near it so that you can get a better vantage point as you can see my slow falling is about to run out so i am putting it back on as you can see, there are no more end crystals, so what you have to do is just hold off endermen who are disgruntled and uh, try and attack the ender dragon. The best time to do this is when it comes down to the bedrock structure, and here you can hit it with your sword or bow much easier. So you can sometimes run up and hit it. I am just smacking on this dude. And Sharpness 5 does a good amount of damage, but that was the throw attack as you just saw. I was sitting in that bedrock over there, and now I am all the way over here. Then of course you can always try and snipe it from far, but pretty hard. So if you have infinity, you can do this. If you don't, I would not recommend it, but I hit it right then. So the dragon is immune for a little bit of time so you have to wait for it to lose its immunity but then you can start to hit it so like right now i am able to damage it but right now i'm not so while it's using its dragon's breath you can't hit it but while it's not you can so this is a good situation to bring strength to i did not but i would also recommend doing that since you can do a lot more damage a lot easier and Here's the throw attack again, and as you can see, I was thrown very far up into the air, and I would have died if I did not have slow falling on. So that is the number one reason why I recommend to bring slow falling. To show off the reason why strength is so important, I gave myself a strength six because you know why not so and also just to speed this up because it's taking a little long and <laughs> yeah no it's not fun to uh fight the ender dragon so make sure to bring strength because it will make it a lot faster so as you can see the strength six is doing a lot of damage and it's making it go a lot faster than it was before so yeah this is why you want to bring strength strength is really good it's really great so as you can see, we have just beat the Ender Dragon, and yeah, um, the first thing that you can see is all of this delicious experience that will rain down upon you from the heavens, and yeah, you get a lot, <laughs> as you can see. I was level 1, and now I am level 63, and the biggest thing that you want to get is the dragon egg so there's a lot of different methods for doing this the easiest one is using torches so that is why i brought them so what you want to do is you want to cover up the portal because uh when you right click this it teleports away and it has a chance of falling into the portal and being lost forever which is <laughs> not something you want so what you have to do is just mine right under here place a torch under it and then mine the block on top of it and it'll pop off and you get the dragon egg in one of the four corners there will be an end gateway so what you want to do is you want to block up to it or you can just throw an ender pearl at it so once you're about eye level with it 
make sure to throw an ender pearl right inside of there so that you fall in it and then you'll be greeted with the end islands so there's a lot of islands here and there's end cities so yeah you want to get more slow falling so that you don't fall off the edge and you can also use ender pearls to get around a lot easier. Once you adventure around enough, you will eventually find an end city, and these are really good because there is a lot of loot in them. But this is the reason why I told you guys to bring chests. So these little thingies that make you levitate will drop shulker boxes. You get two shulker shells and combine them with a chest you get this magical thing called a shulker box and you can put whatever you want in it so I'm just gonna put all this random stuff in there and then you can mine it and it keeps everything that was in there and that is why you should bring a lot of chests so that you can make as many shulker boxes as you want and you can store all of your loot so yeah that is my tutorial on what you should bring to the end and how you should uh, go about it so i hope you all enjoyed and uh, thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time bye